if you could push a button and instantly end statism, instantly bring an end to the use of force and aggression, would you do it? This was a rhetorical question, a stadium of babies question, that Stefan Molyneux recently posed. And his answer was that he would not do it. For those of you new to the cast or who haven't heard me use this phrase before, stadium of babies question is a phrase that I use for these philosophical rhetorical questions that will never happen and are used to distract people from legitimate philosophical questions we should be asking. The name Stadium of Babies Questions comes from a student in an ethics class that I was taking some odd years ago, and we were discussing all of these usual questions, and Stefan Molyneux actually did a really good podcast slash video in which he talked about a number of these. He talked about the question in which you know, there's this man and his wife is dying of a disease and he doesn't have then there's a drug that will cure the disease but he doesn't have money to buy it so is it okay for him to steal the drug to save his wife's life you know and of course as stefan pointed out well does he have credit cards can't he get a job can't he make uh, some kind of exchange with the pharmacist can he do an online campaign to raise money you know does he have no friends does he has no family does he have no community i mean how do you get in this situation where your wife is dying and the only option you have to get the drug is to either pay for it yourself and you don't have the money and you somehow for some magical reason you can't get any money or you have to steal it right this is never going to happen in real life in real life every single day people don't have money for stuff they want so they do things for other people, they create value for other people, they get paid, then they take the money and they buy what they want. Or they run up credit card debt. right? But we don't have to go through life stealing everything we want because we don't happen to have enough money for it right this moment. And then there's the other one, Stefan Molly talked about this one too, there's the trolley. And it's going down the tracks and the trolley is running away out of control and there's five people on the track down the track there and the trolley will hit them and kill them but you're standing on a bridge over the track and that's how you can see the five people because we got to keep it real right you see the trolley coming and there's a fat person up on the bridge with you so you could push the fat person off the bridge the fat person will land on the tracks and stop the trolley and save the lives of the five people, but the fat person will die. How many times is this actually going to happen to you in your life? How many times do you expect to actually be in that scenario? <laughs> right? And I mean, these things are just stupider than fuck. And the purpose of them is to distract philosophy students and other supposedly learned people from talking about the fact that we live in a state of society where violence is regularly used to force people to do things for the benefit of the state. So anyhow, we're in this class and we're discussing these questions and one of the students says something to the effect of, you know, well, all right, whatever. So let's say there's a stadium, a football stadium full of babies and there's a missile heading towards it at the same time as a, you know, and he just he was making fun of this situation pointing out that these things are stupid and that's where i got the phrase stadium of babies question because again it's like well all right so let's say there's this football stadium and it's full of babies and so you have a choice there's a missile i mean there's there's a meteor that's going to hit the football stadium full of babies and you can launch a missile that will blow up the meteor before it gets there but there's a fat person standing in front of the launch tube for the missile Right, you know, these just fucking idiotic fucking ethical questions. They're not, they're just, again, they're not even, they're just there to distract people from reality. They're there to make sure you don't see the matrix. So this is a stadium of babies question that Stefan Molyneux posed. And as stupid as these things can be, I also think they can be 
interesting to discuss. Stefan's question was, if you could push a button and end statism, would you do it? Just push this button, bang, statism, gone. The state, gone, dismantled, vanished. His answer was that he would not do it. And I don't want to say this is the only reason, but the reason I want to focus on. He said the reason he wouldn't do it is because so many people have invested so much of their life in the state already, and this would harm them. So, for example, you have a person who has been working as a government employee for 39 years. They're one year away from retirement. They've invested all of this time and money and energy into this to dismantle the state overnight, instantly, would harm this person because this person has invested so much. This person's counting on this retirement to get him through his old age, all this other stuff. And so Stefan makes the argument he would not instantly dismantle the state because of all the people that would be harmed by the dismantling of the state. This is one of the most bullshit answers I have ever fucking heard. This is the sort of thing that it just makes me wonder how Stefan can be so intelligent in so many ways and then be this fucking dumb. Let me create an analogy for you. Let's say, and this is all theoretical, let's say that there is a continent named Europe. And in this continent, there's a country, and this country is called, I don't know, I'll make something up, Germany. Now, let's say in Germany that via democratic elections, let's say they elected a man to be chancellor of Germany. And let's make up a name. Let's say his name is, I don't know, Adolf Hitler. Now, let's say that this Adolf guy, he doesn't like a particular group of people. Let's say it's a, I don't know what, religious ethnic group. We'll call them, what am I going to call them? Let's call them Jews, just making this up. So let's say that this Adolf guy puts all of these Jews into concentration camps. And in the camps, they do medical experiments on them and they kill them because basically he doesn't regard them as being equal to him, you know, whatever. He, it's, it's, well, he's the state. He can do what the fuck he wants, right? He has the stick of truth, so he controls the universe. He was elected. Democracy. It's a democracy, so he can do what the fuck he wants. He can use violence to do what he wants because democracy. So he puts these people in concentration camps and he's killing them. So now, let's say there, there's a war and some armies invade and they Hitler guy gets you know killed or whatever or imprisoned or he, he's not in power anymore. He gets thrown out of power by violence through the war. So now you've got all these concentration camps. You've got all these people who are working at the concentration camps, you know, the guards, the administrators. You've got all the people who were providing food and clothing and electricity and supplies and all this other stuff to the concentration camps, right? It's a economic ecosystem. There are a number of people who have invested a lot of their time in the concentration camp. They've invested their time working there. The concentration camps, I mean, these are government institutions, right? And I'm sure they have military people there, government employees. All these people have been working towards their pensions. They've been getting their health insurance benefits through the government, through their jobs, through the military, whatever. So to come in and simply shut down these concentration camps... Well, that wouldn't be fair to the people who have invested so much into those concentration camps, right? I mean, they have pensions coming to them. They're entitled to their fucking retirement. Do you see how fucking stupid that is, or do I need to continue to explain it? The idea that we should not shut down the state because people have invested in the state is terrible. Okay, if you've invested in the state, then you're either evil or you're stupid or you're evil and you're stupid. And the idea that 
in this rhetorical question, in this magical world, in this stadium of babies thingy, that you can push this button and end the state and that you should not do that, that you should not end the systematized use of violence, threat, and aggression to enslave the entire fucking human species. The idea that you should not end that because some fucking scumbags who have chosen to work for the federal government or the state government or the state in whatever capacity so that those people don't lose their motherfucking retirement benefits? If to you, retirement benefits and health insurance are a legitimate reason to perpetuate the state, You're either evil, or you're stupid, or you're evil and stupid.